क्लास फोर आई एम ओ लेवल टू मैथमेटिक्स क्वेश्चन नंबर वन अ वुडन लॉग इज थ्री मीटर फोर्टी एट सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग एंड अनादर वुडन लॉग इज थ्री मीटर वन हंड्रेड फोर्टी मिली मीटर लॉन्ग वॉट इज द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ बोथ द लॉग्स Since one log is in is in a different unit and another log is in a, another different unit, we are supposed to first convert it all into the same unit and then we have to add or subtract. Converting all to millimeter and then adding, we will get six thousand six hundred and twenty millimeter, which is also equal to six hundred sixty two centimeter. Mathematics question number two. How many letters in the given word have at least one line of symmetry? Since they have said at least one line of symmetry, there has to be one line or more than one line of symmetry. O has infinite lines of symmetry. Uh, six of the letters have uh, at least one line of symmetry. So the answer is six. Mathematics question number three. Which of the following numbers has the greatest number of factors? We have to first find the factors of every single number in these options, and we're gonna find how many factors each number has. As we can see, twenty-four has eight factors, so it has the greatest number of factors. Mathematics question number four. In the number forty-six thousand three hundred twenty-eight, if the digit at hundreds place and ten thousands place is interchanged. Then find the sum of place values of all the digits in the new number form. If we interchange the ten thousand and thousands place, we will get thirty six thousand four hundred twenty eight. And the sum of place values in this number is equal to thirty six thousand four hundred twenty eight. So the answer is B. Mathematics question number five. Find the sum of eighth multiple of twelve and sixth multiple of nine. The eighth multiple of twelve is equal to ninety six, and the sixth multiple of nine is equal to fifty four. Adding these two, we will get one hundred and fifty. Mathematics question number six: Find the missing number. Eighty five into one one hundred and fourteen is equal to nine thousand six hundred and ninety. So in the other side also, it has to be nine thousand six hundred and ninety. In order to find the question mark, we have to divide nine thousand six hundred ninety by one hundred and ten. Which is equal to nineteen. Mathematics question number seven. A container has a capacity of sixty-one liters, three hundred sixty-five mL. How many can each capacity of four liter, ninety-one mL, are needed to fill the container? In order to find how much can the container can hold, we have to divide total capacity of the container by the capacity of can, which is equal to fifteen. Mathematics question number eight. If the perimeter of the given figure is three hundred and one meter, then find the value of x. First, we can add the sides of the given figure using the meters they have already given. If we do that, we'll get two hundred and nine meters plus x. Given perimeter of the given figure is three hundred and one meter. So, in order to find x, we have to subtract the total meter, uh, perimeter and two four nine meter. If we do that, we'll get fifty two meters. So x is equal to fifty-two meters. Mathematics question number nine: A bus carries sixty-five passengers in each trip. How many passengers will the bus carry in the months of July, August, and September if it makes twelve trips a day? Number of passengers in one trip is equal to sixty-five passengers. There are twelve trips in a day. So the number of passengers bus carries in a day is equal to sixty five into twelve, which is equal to seven hundred and eighty passengers per day. And number of days in July, August, and September is equal to ninety two days in all. And in order to find how many passengers were there in ninety two days, we have to multiply ninety two and seven hundred and eighty. If we do that, we'll get seventy one thousand seven hundred and sixty. Mathematics question number ten. Kanika wakes up at six fifteen a.m. She leaves her house at twenty minutes from jogging, and jogs for thirty five minutes. What time her jogging completes? Kanika wakes up at six fifteen a.m. She leaves her home after twenty minutes, so she leaves at six thirty five a.m. She jogs for another thirty five minutes. She completes her jog at seven ten a.m. Mathematics question number eleven. Ajay bought two toy cars and three toy trains. The cost of toy train is forty five rupees more than the cost of a toy car. If he gave the cashier two five hundred notes, then how much 
change did he get? Given Ajay bought two toy cars and three toy trains. Toy trains is equal to toy car plus 45 rupees. In the picture, we can see that toy car is equal to 130 rupees. So, toy trains is equal to 130 rupees plus 45 rupees, which is equal to 175 rupees. Therefore, two toy cars plus three toy trains is equal to 785. Ajay gave two 500 notes, which is equal to 1000 rupees. So, in order to find the change, we have to subtract 1000 and 785. If we do that, we'll get 215 rupees. Mathematics question number 12. We plotted three points on a grid. The three points together make a dash. The three points here make a straight line. Mathematics question number 13. Consider the following numbers. Find the difference between the digit at hundreds place and the greatest and smallest number. First, we will find all the Roman numerals in Arabic numerals. Now, the greatest number is MMCD, which is equal to 2400. And the smallest number is MCXLIII, which is equal to 1143. The difference between the hundreds place of the greatest and smallest number is 3. Mathematics question number 14. The difference of two numbers is 7889. If the greatest number is 52438, then find their sum. Let the numbers be N1 and N2. Given N1 is equal to 52438 and N1 minus N2 is equal to 7889. Substituting the value of N1 in the equation, we will get 52,438 minus N2, which is equal to 7,889. Since N2 is a negative numeral here, we have to bring it to the opposite side of the equation to make it a positive numeral. And then we have to subtract. If we subtract 52,438 and 7,889, we will get the value of N2. So, N2 is equal to 44,549. They have asked to find their sum. So if we add these two numerals, we will get 96,987. Mathematics question number 15. The given table shows the duration of Ananya's tuition classes on four days. How much time did she spend on tuition classes? In order to find how much time she spent in her tuition classes, we have to add Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday timings. If we do that, we will get 4 hours 152 minutes and 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So, if we divide 152 by 60, we will get 2 hours 32 minutes. So, Anna spent 4 hours 52 minutes on tuition class which can be written as 6 hours 32 minutes. That's it for this video. Make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on post notifications so that you guys never miss out on a video that I upload. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.